Ehesa is an agro-syllable pastoral uh, system. Um, and that it's not 100% natural, it's, it's man-made, but it's a perfect symbiosis of uh, mankind and nature. agro pastoral means we have agriculture, we have uh, livestock breeding, and we have forestry. The typical uh, livestock here is, it, it started with sheep about two or three thousand years ago, probably. And um, Iberico pigs, which is a special genetic uh, species of um, pigs. Uh, we also call them Blackfoot, Pata Negra, and um, cattle. But uh, here on the farm we only have indigenous breeds um, that are perfectly adapted to this um, landscape and also to the uh, climatic situation, which means that it's very hot in summer, uh, dry food only and uh, little water, probably only once a day. And um, they can also take the cold temperatures in, in winter. Um, for the forestry part, it is the most interesting or most um, uh, special uh, activity we have is cork, uh, because we have mainly two uh, oak trees, cork and home oak. Um, the home oak has the advantage that the acorns are sweeter and the Iberico pigs prefer them, but the cork oaks have the advantage that we can use the uh, the um, acorns and also harvest the cork, which is very important and it still is a, a very traditional business because it's done without any machines. Apart from what the productive system is, it's very important to, to realize that the dehesa is what a Portuguese scientist said once, it is the last barrier to the African uh, desert. It's the last ecosystem that uh, is productive um, but has almost African temperatures at least in summer. And the big uh, uh, difference, uh, temperature, the difference in temperature between day and night, for example, in fall and in, in springtime. Um, so, um, and it's a very, uh, very delicate uh, ecosystem. It's a perfect area for different species of animals, uh, hoopoe, vultures, uh, eagles, etc. It is very, very rich in biodiversity. It's one of the richest uh, biodiverse uh, ecosystems in Europe and um, it is endangered of course because um, as you can see here with the mountains uh, if it rains too hard if you have too much cattle or too, ma too many sheep or too many pigs on one place then um, the, the rainfall can just provoke erosion um, if you have too less uh, animal livestock then the bushes will eat up the dehesa, and then you have a bush fire, and then it's gone. The secret for the for the success is the balance of the different aspects. So you have to be careful that you have not completely overgrazed uh, parts and other completely abandoned. If you have, you can have some wild parts, which is very good for certain animals or like foxes or whatever. I mean, f f certain plants, orchids, for example, but. Um, you should uh, always manage the land with the different uh, animals, with the different uh, livestock. We use the animals, as a matter of fact, as instruments to improve the countryside. So, um, of course, uh, we need to have income from it, but we have to, it's more important to use the animals to improve the ecologic quality, uh, to avoid erosion, etc., etc., than getting 10 or 20 or 50 more pigs or more uh, calves or whatever.